What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today is part two of the $12,500 mystery box guys. Again, this is the biggest mystery box I've ever done. The most insane mystery box I've ever done. You guys can't tell. I'm in my new studio right now. If you didn't watch the last video where I'm showing you guys building this new ultimate sneaker room, this is the new place right here and we're going to finish off the second part of this in the new studio. Now, if you didn't watch part one, here's a quick little recap. These 700 originals. Ooh, these are the OGs. Shanghai's right here in the Jordan 5 split CDG box logo. These are flames. There's a V-Lone tote bag, Bape sweatpants, shorts. We got some Bape shorts here. It says Fahrenheit 451T. That is dope. I think I got this exact one in my last. The Supreme Madonna Bandana Revenge Storm. This, ooh, we got a V-Lone. Is this a hoodie? The Yeezy 500 cream. World is yours. This is the Scarface hoodie, I believe. I'm just gonna try it. That is literally that's that item right there is literally seven thousand like five I don't even know six seven thousand dollars. I guess we gotta wait for that to come in. Oh what the fuck? Now that you're a little bit caught up, all the items are right here, but we still do have this whole box here. And we have the major item that you guys don't know about that we have to go and pick up today. It's gonna be absolutely insane, and I cannot wait to show you guys. We got a lot of stuff going on in the video, but if you don't know, we have a Yeezy 500 Super Moon Yellow giveaway going on right now. This pair right here is a size 12. They are used, but you can get this pair right here for free. Sell them, make 200 bucks, but not your size. All you have to do for that is just subscribe to the channel. You have to follow me on Instagram. You have to comment down below. We're following that link at the top of the description called gleam.io, and you guys can see another giveaway there. Some of the other things we're going to be talking about at the end of the video as well as there's some memberships to the website that I got this mystery box, which is through Kicks STW. If you guys haven't seen that, their website is insane and this mystery box is absolutely insane. If you remember last time, I told you guys that I was going to do a little marker on here and show you guys if I broke the seal. All right, so it's time to seal this bad boy up. Now, you guys can still look down there. This plate hasn't been moved. This hasn't been moved at all. Can you confirm it? Nope. I have not seen anything that's in there. We're going to seal this up until the new item comes in. So we're going to be waiting a little bit. I don't know how long it's going to be. I received a tracking number. I think it's been about two to three days until we get it in. So I have to wait. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this in here. This is the gift as well. We're going to seal this. And so that I won't be able to see anything that was in here. And you guys will know that if the seal is broken by the time you get back, then I looked in it and uh, I probably shouldn't. I'm going to take this marker right here and I'm going to run it across here. And if this is cut, and you guys know that I looked in it. It is still sealed. I did not cut it, open it or anything. So I still have no clue what the rest of the box is. If you guys don't remember, there's a little like section underneath where there's more items. What we're going to do, I think, is we might go and uh, pick up the new item, reveal that, and then come and show you this afterwards because there's a lot of cool stuff in there, as well as a gift from the owner of the shop. He sent me a special gift in a separate package and I'm excited to go ahead and open. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of this kind of stuff here, all the goods from the last video, and uh, show you guys the big reveal of this uh, big item that I had to go get. It came on a freight truck. It was supposed to come later. That's why you're seeing this video later. It was a whole mess up with the shipping. So let's cut to that footage now. All right, so now it's time to update you guys on the mystery box. So part two, this is the whole big video. Today, we're actually going to pick up the big item for the mystery box. We still have to unbox this one, but we're gonna go pick up that main item, which I'm trying, I keep saying it, but I'm trying not to tell you guys what it is. They could have delivered it like next Friday or Monday or something, but we're deciding to go ahead and try to pick it up. It's coming on a pallet and it's in a box, but I think the best option is gonna to be to take it all apart and kind of take the boxes out and then put just the item in the back of the car. I think that's gonna be our best option so we're gonna have to do that here in a minute i'm getting some furniture delivered at the same time so i'm trying to balance that but i think that's the next move it'll be here today at the warehouse where we could pick it up and i'm just like i need to come get this today because i'm not waiting the next week to put out this video so that's what we're gonna do we still have to unbox this stuff which will be later in the video we'll update you guys when we get everything i don't know how much we'll be able to film at the freight place hopefully we can get in there filming unboxing all that if not you guys will see us with it in the car and then we're gonna do a reveal here at the apartment so uh, a lot of stuff going on but again you guys see we're in the new studio and the new walls so the sneaker walls got delivered so that is very exciting we have to end up taking the jeep to go get this uh item that we're going to get the gtr is right here but we can't take it it's too small to carry this large item all right guys so we're headed right now to pick up the big item this is uh i know what it is at this point because if you guys remember in the last video 
I ended it off and he had a picture of what this item is kind of shuffled up so you guys couldn't really tell what it is. You guys had a lot of good guesses. A lot of people guessed like the Supreme punching bag, Supreme Louis Vuitton, the Supreme bike. There's a lot of different guesses. We're gonna have to see what actually ends up happening. We're going to pick it up now. The video is actually gonna be a little bit later than expected, two days later, but luckily we're getting it now because we're we're trying to get it early. I'm, I'm not about to wait till they said Friday it's supposed to get in, delivered, and I can come pick it up. So we might have to take it out of the packaging, so we might not try to be able to show you all that, but we have to go ahead. Right now we're headed over to the, uh, the delivery place, so it's, it's exciting. How we get some use out of this particular item that we're picking up. All right, guys, we literally just got it. It is massive. It is taking up the entire back. Can't show you yet. You can just hear the bubble wrap because this is very protected right now. This is a pretty complicated thing that we had to work out. So we had to take it out of the original boxes and everything, and we couldn't even bring them. And we had to load it in the car wrapped up. And what we're going to do is when we get back, we're going to do some sort of montage to show you guys everything going on. It's taking up the whole back, and I don't know how much... Like if I pan it back, you guys will be literally able to see exactly what it is, but I don't know at this point if you guys have seen anything. So let's do a quick little that, that. I don't know if that showed anything. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Like it, it does, I can't even use it. Legally, I probably can't even use it where how it's supposed to be used, which is confusing, but uh, enough talking. Now we gotta get back. I'm probably gonna film us unloading it, but I don't wanna like reveal what it is. So essentially this came on a big pallet and it didn't have the original box with it. It was a pallet with like a box made around it. It, it, co very complicated. There's a lot of stuff that went on with the whole shipment. A lot of kind of some things that went wrong in the process. The person who was shipping it, there had some issues with the, you know, the delivery or the carrier. They wanted very specific things to be done with the package before they'll ship it because it's so big. You can't just like ship it like a normal package. It was really complicated and I was kind of worried about the, like this item being sent to me because it's like, I didn't want to stress about shipping and having, I would have to use the freight elevator at my apartment complex, but this is going to be easier because I can just load this through like the regular elevator and just hope that nobody is going to be getting on the elevator and just wait for that it doesn't have the og box or anything it's still got all the wrapping on it like I, that's what I'm more worried about, but what I'm gonna do with this after the video is done I have absolutely no clue because I can't really use it So uh, you guys know I like to get footage for you all the time But we literally went in there So it was a freight or like a package carrier center and essentially it's like this big back thing where you have to like Come to the back where there's a loading dock and you have to load up They would not let any sort of camera be on let alone We wouldn't have even had the hands to do it or set up the camera But it's very weird and strict how like I don't know if you guys have ever been to like a place where you pick up freight deliveries It was it's not a UPS. It's like an external company that does it and it was hired a lot of weird stuff going on i couldn't film i don't think it's that big of a deal because it's still wrapped up right now and then we'll just show you that way but essentially it was in a box on a crate and that crate would have been delivered but for me at the end of the day i'm happier because i don't know what i would have done with the crate and the packaging after the video because it's so much easier to transport like this when we're shipping across the country you got to do it that way. we're about to take a quick little starbucks break before we uh head Stop interrupting me! We're getting some Starbucks real quick to energize up so we can continue on this freaking video. All right, we got the coffees, boy. We got a grande iced coffee, light cream with a classic sweetener. A lot of you guys ask, can you see what's behind me? Whoop! All right, so we're almost home, and uh, I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to take as much wrapping off in the car and then take it out, and then I think we're gonna shoot all the shots of us with the item. Sun's about to set. We have the skyline in the background. Woo-wee! All right, so I'm about to take a bunch of the wrapping off. You can kind of see this. And then I'm gonna pull the item out and it's gonna go straight into shots of us with it. So we got this lens for that and I got a little, little cutter. Do that, you cannot tell what it is when you're doing that. Jeez, this is how much wrapping was just taken off. And we're about to pull it out. So this footage is gonna pick up after we go ahead and reveal it. That was a freaking process, but bruh, this thing is nuts. 
This is not even comfortable. All right, let's get these shots. This is a process. Let's hope nobody's on the elevator. All right, we got it, we got it. This is, it literally says this is an outdoor vehicle, not meant for the road. Look at this. I wonder what my fiance is gonna think. I'm riding an elevator. This is nuts. Oh my. Get my fiance and see what she thinks. Hey babe, I got a new toy. Like a new toy? <laughs> Why is this in the living room? Why not? It's our new centerpiece. You put on it together? No. Why not? It's our new centerpiece. You like it? Yeah. Boom, boom, baby. <laughs> Can I start it in here? No. Yeah, right. <laughs> How do you even get it in here? I know, we had to finesse up the elevator. They allowed you to bring this in. Don't ask, don't tell. I want to put the bike somewhere in the background so you guys can see it while I'm opening. Maybe I'll put it right here because it'll fit perfectly right there. Yeah, Alright, so we got the bike in here. I gotta be honest with you guys. I don't think I'm gonna end up keeping this. I just There's no room for this in my apartment. And I think one way for me to make money back from this box because I do like a lot of the other stuff like this. I think it's gonna be to sell this. These are going for about four, five thousand dollars Some places are selling for like seven, eight thousand dollars That's maybe $3,500, 4000 I don't know. But that's a lot of money that I can recoup back from this box because there are so many things that I'm gonna keep. So I think that is the move for now. I thought it was fun to have it for the video, but there's another YouTuber who I think wants the bike and we might be meeting to uh, give it to him so he can make some content with it. And I think that's the move because he's offering to buy it. So I think that, and I'll offer him a fair deal. So I'm excited about that, but bike will be in here for the rest of the video. Not sure how much longer I'll keep it. Let's go ahead, break the seal on this and see what else we have. Cause there's also a gift in here still. Let's pull this out right here. Oh, that was it. So loud. First, the gift. I guess we'll wait to the end to open the gift. This is straight from the owner. Then we have the little breakaway box. If you guys remember, see in there, we have a little cardboard and underneath is something. So I'll let you guys see what it is. We got some goods. Let's pull something out. Bye bye, bear brick. All right, first thing we have is a bag right here. This is a bunch of, this is like smaller goods. We have a Supreme, what is that? Some Bape socks. I've literally never seen Bape socks before. That's pretty cool. You guys can see that right there. Two pairs of Bape socks. I don't really know how to value something like this. I'll have to look it up. I'm sure this will be something around, I don't know, 75 to hundred dollars, but I've never seen Bape socks. So that's kind of cool. We got some of the free items from Supreme. So you guys know the Supreme toothbrush is a free item from two seasons ago, I believe, or last season. And then the Supreme bouncy ball was last season. So that was a free item that you get they're selling for probably 15, 20 bucks now. Then we have some big, ooh, Supreme North Face gloves. These are like the leather thick ones. Ooh, the inside is nice and furry too. You guys can see that. You can also use these for the Supreme bike, but these dropped with the Supreme jackets that were like $1,000 retail, or like $1,200 or something crazy retail because it's like such high quality leather, but this leather is really nice. The yellow is a little bit weird, but another one that I don't really know how much it's going for. These are going for about 200 bucks right here, so that's a pretty good value. It's honestly pretty high. I can't, the retail on these probably $140 on the retail so about 50 bucks to be made on that from the retail price but pretty high retail for some gloves all right so next thing we got i still haven't looked we have a ooh. <laughs> Bruh, I have wanted to get my hair cut with these so bad. We have these Supreme cordless clippers right here. I've seen a few different barber shops that use these, and I've heard that the cordless isn't that great. I've heard that like corded ones are better for as far as power and whatnot, but dang, that is crazy. These are like Supreme items that I've always wanted, but like for me, there's no point to buy this specific item because I don't cut hair. What else? Oh my God, this is so sick. It's smaller than I thought, but I wonder if any of my friends would let me cut their hair with this. Camera man says, heck no. These are going for about 290 bucks. That's pretty good value right there. So we got socks. I don't know what to do about the bait socks price. Maybe 200 bucks for both of them. How many more items do we have? It's got a bag here. This is a Supreme fanny pack. This is one of the, the black ones. I think this one goes for about $200 if I remember correctly. They sat during the season and then afterwards they started selling out. But like people started selling them for a lot higher prices because I guess you couldn't get them anymore. $320 this is going for. That's insane. Dang. These were, I swear these were sitting at retail on Supreme com for like two weeks or something like that. Actually, I haven't had that one before. I had just the uh, shoulder bag version. We have a Bob Marley air freshener. That's pretty cool. I, I is this a Supreme item or am I? I'm confused. I don't know if this is a Supreme item or not. It's like some 
paper or something. Ooh, Supreme newspaper. I purchased two of these online at like nine bucks each. Then you can buy them on eBay. I bought one for five dollars. It's just a cool little table piece, like a coffee table piece, because this came out in New York. They're like 99 cents or a dollar. Everybody went and bought them, sold them for 10 bucks, made nine dollars a pop. I think there's one thing left, and that is the Bob Marley, another Bob Marley air freshener right here. So that's pretty cool. So that is it for the main box. As you guys can see, nothing else, no more trap doors. But we also have this gift here that I want to open up. So lastly, we're gonna open up this gift right here from the store owner. See if we can pull this out right here. I honestly don't know what it is. I don't know what it kind of look like a pair of shoes. Looks like we got something bape. Looks like a nice bape. Ooh, that's like a canvas box, it looks like. It's got like a lock on it. See, it's got like a little, not lock, but like a little clip. This is heavy. Yeah, it's like a canvas box. Denim, but it's like a Vans canvas material. You can see it's got the bape heads on it. See what we got? We have, ooh, I thought this was like a watch organizer, but it looks like it's a kettle set. Dang, this is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. It's like little cups here, and then you have this. I think it's like a tea kettle, and it comes with four different little cups right here. They have some uh, writing on there. I'm not sure what that says. Well, I wonder if this is just an exclusive in wherever he got it. This is something that you like keep. I feel like this, you keep this on your like locked in, like on a shelf or something. I don't think I'd actually use this. It kind of reminds me of like the Supreme Saki set. All right, so here are all the items right here, including the massive bike over there. This was the most insane mystery box I ever got. I got a lot of shoes, five pairs of shoes, Jordan 5 Shanghai, we got the Yeezy 500s, we got Yeezy 700s, off-white press I'd already worn these. If you guys saw in the shots of me on the bike, I love these and I cannot wait to wear these in the summer. We got the Shanghai Exclusive Revenge Storms. These are absolutely crazy. And then, of course, all the clothes. We got off-white, we got Supreme, we got Bait, we got V-Loan, so much stuff. We got Supreme accessories. I just really like how this mystery box was so so different. You guys literally crashed the website, uh, Kicks SCW, for who makes these mystery boxes 30 times the day that that video dropped, which is absolutely insane. But again, this bike is gonna be going into good hands. I'm talking to this other YouTuber now who you guys might be able to, I don't know, I don't wanna reveal who it is. We're talking now to get them that bike, make a little bit of the money back from the video. Some of these items might be listing up on my website if you guys wanna check that out, as well as these shoes are gonna be going on my sneaker wall that gets installed tomorrow, actually. If you guys didn't watch that last video of the Ultimate Sneaker Room, go ahead and watch that. You guys are killing that. You guys are killing everything. So thank you guys so much. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'm probably gonna be holding off on mystery boxes for a little bit, but uh, this is like so massive that that's why I wanna do it. So I wanna cut over real quick. The website that sells these is also doing a membership thing where you guys can buy exclusive sneakers for better prices. We're gonna cut over to that real quick as well as I want to do a little bit of a portion where we're giving back to charity, which I talked about in the first video. There's two more things that I wanted to mention to you guys before we end it. I did mention to you guys that they do have a membership coming out on March 27th. This is not sponsored, like I've said a million times, but I wanted to let you guys know what they have coming up because I'm actually gonna getting a membership. They're giving me a free membership to go ahead and try it out to share with you guys. So we've shown that in a future video where you can kind of see what the full experience is. You'll see it up on the screen, but essentially if you're a member, you get like access to exclusive drops. They have like timers to let you guys know when the drops are gonna happen and you'll get, and during those drops, you're going to get items for like a steel price. So they're gonna get it for lower than the market value so you can get a better deal for having that membership. And during the subscription, you'll have access to be able to win free things like Yeezy, Supreme, different things like that while you're a member. So there's different chances of winning that just for free being a member. So there's a few little details. I'll explain it more whenever I do the other thing when I try it out and you know, and actually get an item from it so you guys can see a little bit more. And then the last thing I wanted to share was about, I mentioned in the first video, I wanted to share kind of a bit of a charity. Whenever I do these like large videos where I'm spending a lot of money, even though it's like business money where I'm spending it and I'm making it back by selling the item, I wanna with you guys just a way to give back so last time i donated to make a wish foundation this time i wanted to share one that i kind of had a hand in the production of this new video they came out with this video to kind of promote it and i was in help with the production directing different things like that for it and it's basically called fur kids and it's essentially a place that helps rehabilitate or helps homeless dogs be brought back into a better medical standing while they're trying to find homes for these homeless dogs so it's like a rescue shelter essentially and it's one in georgia and one of my close friends parents is really involved with it i've been trying to help out so if you guys want to donate to that i'll leave a link at the top of the description that is the one that I've been just focusing on and I have a soft spot for animals and hopefully I'll be getting a dog in the next few months so I just want to share that down below and uh, if you guys want to check that out I would, I would really appreciate it that's gonna wrap it up for this video though I hope you guys did enjoy this mystery box it was nuts see you guys next time this is Harrison signing out